Hello guys, this is Adam. Welcome to the Adam Lab or the Weep Lab, whatever you want to call it. So, I got a new figure, so there is that. It's uh, Frankenstein from Fate Grand Order, but you're not here for that. You're here to hear more about Blender, so let's get into it. Before I talk about that, let's set some ground rules, or let's set the ground. What we are testing with is the 16-inch MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigabyte of RAM, 8 terabyte of NVMe SSD with 32 core GPU and then 10 core CPU. That's the highest that you can go to. And the price for this machine is around $7,000 tax included. That is what we are working with and that is what we are testing a Blender on. Now you might ask, well you have tested a Blender before, why you're testing it again? For two reasons. First, we are optimizing the settings and let me tell you, the results will be shocking. Plus, we are doing the test for the Fox scene where we will render one image of that. The numbers compared to the last test that I did is way different. With the previous test that I did, I got six minutes using the GPU of the M1 Mac in order to render one image of the Fox scene. Now, after downloading the optimized version of a Blender, I got only one minute and around it 20 seconds. So there is around five minutes shaved just by using the optimized settings and then using the optimized Apple Silicon Blender version. And that gives us an idea that a Blender definitely works on the M1 Max if you are planning to use it for very huge projects and very complex projects as well. And while I was at it, I was like, let's see with the optimized settings if we did the test for the CPU this time. And I did it with the CPU. I got four minutes and 17 seconds in order for the whole scene to render, which is still better than the previous test because with the previous test, I got around five minutes and 40 seconds. So after optimizing the settings, we definitely got a better results with four minutes and 17 seconds. And yes, I have done each test three times just to make sure that we are getting good numbers and it's not only numbers that are fluke or they happen only once. On top of that, while doing the test, the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch did not make any sound. And what I mean by that, the fans did not turn on and I didn't even hear them going on and they were still silent. Which that is an indicator of two things. Either the app a Blender or the software Blender is too optimized or that there is still room for optimization in order to take advantage more of the power. Or maybe Apple is like, you know what? The M1 is still chilling. Let's not turn up the fans just yet. And that really brings a very interesting question. What would happen if I would stretch the M1 Max thin but have a fan under it like a stand one of those stands that has a fan I wonder how far the M1 Max can go but that's a conversation for another video and now to recap with the results what we got with the GPU is around 1 minute and 20 seconds as an average and what we got with the CPU was 4 minutes and 17 seconds and that was the test using 3.1 Blender the new version for Apple Silicon. I do still think there is a room for improvement and there is a room for more optimizations to squeeze more performance out of the M1 Max because I don't think it has been utilized fully just yet. But nevertheless, this is definitely a step into the right direction and I would for sure recommend the M1 Max for a Blender if you are a Blender user. That's all that I got to say, but if you made it to the very end, please tell me if you have watched Fate Stay Night series, any episode of them. And if you did, which character you like and it's your favorite? For me, it's Imyashiro. And if you have not watched Fate Stay Night, maybe you can tell me about Dragon Ball Z or Yu Gi Oh! If you're still here, this is Frankenstein from Fate Grand Order. It's a video game, and I think they made an anime for it. This is my favorite 3D fighting game. It's for Xbox 360, actually. This is the collector edition, Dead Hour Life 5. But I still have it and I have not opened it yet. And then down below, right there is actually a box for Yu-Gi-Oh! where it has cards inside and I have not opened that as well. I like to collect the stuff but never open them. Anyhow, I will see you soon.